Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest here tonight. The producer behind Thursday with Fletcher, as well as the co-author of Putting People First, How We Can Change America. Hello, Mr. Clinton. Hello. <laughs> Wait, why are, you, why are you guys laughing? You, you just sat down and said hi. Sh Will you show some respect? This is former U.S. President Mr. Bill Clinton. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Clinton. I, I can have them fired if you'd like. I think they played a very positive role. Well, even if that's true, why did you let them laugh at you like that? The risk of peace were less than the risk of continued conflict. Wow, that was very profound. Shall we continue with the interview? Uh, it seems to me that that's the best way to handle this. So, right off the bat, I heard that after working on Thursday with Fletcher, you and Mr. Greer became quite close. Is that correct? Well, we have become good friends. And how do you feel about his career after doing Work Week with Fletcher? I'm very, very proud. And what was your first impression upon meeting Mr. Greer? I was deeply impressed the first time I met him. And what did you tell him when he first gave you the pitch for Thursday with Fletcher? You would see investors coming from everywhere. I see. And before meeting him in person, how did you view Fletcher's films? Literally as a... As, a part, as an extension of my Christian faith. Seeing as how our show is broadcast live, I... Broadcast live? Uh, yeah. Is that a problem? I think it is hard to know. Uh, anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to take a moment to tell people to go buy your book, Putting People First. Uh, that is up to them, not up to us. Okay. Moving on. Uh, many people have objected to the gratuitous nudity featured in the films made by you and Mr. Greer. I was wondering what were your thoughts on that? That is what has made us a success. You think that's what makes you a success? Not the witty dialogue or biting commentary, it's the man butts? Yes, of course. Right. Well, let's talk about the beer fire. Do you think there's any chance of the master tapes ever being recovered? I'm hopeful. I'm, very, I'm more hopeful today than I have been in any time since I've been president. If by some miracle a country out there has the tapes, who do you think they're being hidden by? Not by the United States, or the Russians, or the United Nations, or the European community, or anyone else, but instead by the people in the Middle East. Now, everyone knows the security at the BBC Film Archives was suspiciously lax on the day of the fire. What steps have been made to address this? The security situation has stabilized. Funny you should say that because my personal research shows that the order to loosen security was made by none other than you. I'm gonna give up, walk away. Oh, and what were to happen if I were to say, go to the police with this information? You would see an explosion. Uh, Mr. Clinton, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Where's your home? Uh, can we, can we get him out of here? Can we get him out of here? 